Tim Hill has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now here is David Ice, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Yeah. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Next, it'll be Mookie Betts. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Well, there's no denying he was all over that fastball. That's what we like to refer to as a little bit of an ambush. Oh, oh, heater gets turned around. In now, Matt Beatty. As he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. Now a throw over to first. One and one to the Dodgers first baseman. Betts stands at first with one out. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers eight and the Padres five. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Count remains at 0 and 2. Hey, I don't blame him for fouling that one away. His eyes lit up right there. He did not expect a changeup up in the zone with two strikes. Got to regroup. Price ready with another 0-2. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. And in steps Manny Machado. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. <laughs> it's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. Number 22 on the year as they cut it to an 8-6 ball game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Here's Will Myers. Number five. As Price starts him with a strike, it's 0-1. So far, two for three in this one. Rounded down the third baseline. Reined in. 
And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. So next to hit is Trent Grisham. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. And if you're thinking pinch hitter, here's what the Friars have left on the bench to choose from. Brian O'Grady will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. As Price starts him with a strike, it's 0 and 1. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at now first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate, he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Fouled off. Runners at the corners, two men out. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Padres draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. On to the ninth inning from Petco Park. It's now 8-6. to six. Craig Stammen enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So striding in to start the ninth is Corey Seager trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Here comes the 1-2. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Cody Bellinger at the plate now, as it's on the ground toward the hole. And that's in for a base hit, finally. Make him one for five now. The batter, the catcher, Will Smith. At the plate now, Will Smith. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to say. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. 
Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he's safe. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. Dive, but it's in and out of the glove, and the run should oh, score. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit now tonight. Back. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many OO breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. Austin Adams enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Stepping in now, Zach Rex lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Justin Turner will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Dodgers lead this one 10 to 6. Kenley Jansen takes the mound here. Not a save situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Jurickson Profar. Down by a bunch here, and what makes it even more difficult, they're facing the closer. Not going to be an easy task trying to tie this one or go ahead here at home. The 0 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Popped him up. Smith over to his left. One down. Up next to the Padres. No left fielder. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Tommy Pham, career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen, batting at an even 400. First pitch coming, here it is. 
Jansen has thrown a little over 50 innings and over that time he's got a whip under 0.5 to translate he's allowed less than half a runner per inning scooped up throw on to first and the Padres are down to their final out now the batter number nine second baseman digging in now for San Diego Jake Cronenworth and he needs to make something happen they're down to their final out here in the ninth. Owen won the count. Now the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east west consistently with a great cutter two seamer combo. Catch is made, and the Dodgers have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Well, the skipper has to be pleased. They go on the road and win the first two of this three game series, playing for the sweep tomorrow. 10 to 6, the final score in this game. The Dodgers win for a division best 113th time. Clayton Kershaw gets to that magic number 20 wins on the season. Hugh Darvish was unable to work out of the second inning as he saddled with the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, 10 runs, 18 hits. Don't worry, you're gonna be happy. Keep working today, that smile will come one day. Don't worry, you're gonna be happy. Keep fighting today, that smile will come one day. Nothing's come for free with